We've all heard the advice of striving for work-life balance. This suggests for most of us that work is tipping the scales and we need to spend more time on other aspects of our non-work personal lives. The reality of modern day work structure, right or wrong, is that we now work longer hours than ever. The modern day work environment and global economy, combined with technology, which now allows us to work 24-7, along with the cost of living, makes it increasingly more difficult to achieve balance. In this video, I'll be talking about changing our way of thinking from that of work-life balance to one of work-life harmony, and providing tips on how we can all achieve better work-life harmony. Dr. Jody, and I'm a registered psychologist with expertise in all things related to psychological health and resilience. I'm also the CEO and founder of MyWorkplaceHealth.com, and I'm a national expert on psychological health and safety in the workplace. Now, the term work-life balance suggests that portions of our lives should be separated out into different sections, but it isn't always that simple. Many of us choose our profession based on something we are passionate about or that we feel gives us meaning in our lives. It's important to keep in mind that it's fully possible to have the scales tipping more towards work, but still feeling high in work-life harmony. So what are some ways that we can achieve a better work-life harmony, where our work lives and personal lives are integrated and complement each other? First, make conscious choices. This means ensuring that we are making conscious choices about the activities we engage in, including work, and what's most important to us from a values-based perspective. This also means attempting to have an intentional plan in regards to how and where we spend our time. And this can shift over time based on our priorities and life goals. For example, if you're early in your career, you may choose to work harder and longer with the intentional focus of building skills and experience to get a higher paying job down the road. Intentionally working more at the present time can then allow you to set the stage for your future desired life. So that, for example, you're able to work less hours or have more financial stability when you start a family, where priorities and focus would of course be different. Second, work with passion. When possible, and particularly during stages of life where you are intentionally working more, try to work in a field that you're passionate about, or put a heavy emphasis on the meaningful aspects of your current position that you love. Research suggests that we're happier and more invested in our work when we can find meaning in that work, and that it feels less depleting even when we work more on our personal lives. Third, prioritize working with people you like. Since we spend a significant portion of our day with our coworkers, our relationships with them can affect how we feel throughout the course of every day. We're much more likely to be happier if we enjoy the people we're working with. This can mean choosing to spend more time with the people that we like and naturally get along with at work to the degree possible, or it can mean building better relationships with the people that we work with. Now, alternatively, if we're working with people that we don't get along with all that well, we should put an intentional focus on attempting to manage those relationships or conflicts better. And in some cases, even consider switching work environments. Finally, work on your physical health by both staying active and getting enough rest. Now, most of us know the benefits of both staying active and ensuring that we get enough rest and sleep. Both these things have a very positive impact on our brain functioning and our productivity at work. It isn't always easy to make time for exercise, so start small and consider if there's a way to incorporate just small regular movements into your workday. Can you walk or bike to work? Can you take a short walk at lunch or run, bike, or go to the gym during a lunch break? Can you have a stand-up desk like I do or use an exercise ball, which I also do, rather than a standard desk chair? Now, when it comes to rest and sleep, have rituals and routines that delineate your work time from your personal time. Put away devices that can lure you into work during times that you're intentionally taking rest time. And have an evening sleep routine and educate yourself on sleep hygiene or principles that can help you maintain restful, restorative sleep patterns. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I hope that you found this video helpful. I'd love it if you took a moment to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and follow us on social media for more helpful tips.